All right, holiday shopping season is here, inflation high. Uh, now, as we prepare our finances, what can we do? Local financial instructor Michael Mazarin from the Retirement Education Foundation is here with some money-saving tips, but really just how to think about money. And Michael, I feel like this is a really key part of the year where, where mm -hmm. a lot of people get themselves in trouble financially. It is, and you know, we were talking before, I, I kind of feel like we share these same principles pretty constantly throughout the year, whether it's back to school shopping or it's summer vacations, now it's holiday shopping. And it's the same, it's been the same issue all year long as there's been, there's been high inflation. You guys were talking about it earlier today, prices just are not coming down. And that's a little counterintuitive. People see headlines of inflation falling, mm -hmm. but people have to keep in mind that does not mean prices are coming down. That means prices are rising slower. They're still rising, just not as fast as they were previously. So prices are still elevated. So as people are doing their holiday shopping, their dollars are not going as far as they might have thought prior to this inflation. And, and, and I think that's really a point too, because if you spend a certain amount of money each and every year, that is gonna net you less this year. 100%, yeah. if someone spent I don't know, a couple hundred bucks last year for Christmas presents for the family, they're spending the same dollar amount this year, it's not gonna get you as much. Mm -hmm. And so people, you know, kind of, they, they feel guilty by, by nature, they wanna get more and more and more, and that's how they can find themselves kind of getting into trouble come the, come the end of the year time when they're dipping into debt to try to finance all these Christmas Christmas present shopping. And, and, and that's one of the things that you always talk about too, is just be wary of debt. If you have to dip in your savings to, to buy gifts, try not to do that, right? Yeah, it's one thing to use the credit cards and pay them off right away. Yeah. That's fine, credit cards can help track things, get points, that's great. But if we can't pay the credit cards off right away, it can be a really slippery slope very quickly. Especially, I mean, we're seeing credit card rates 25, 30% interest on credit cards it's unbelievable and we always talk about too like you know plan for plan for the holidays plan for back to school plan for summer vacation but if you're sitting here on november what's today the seventh yeah. <laughs> uh, if you're sitting here on november 7th and you haven't planned for anything but you know you have to get x y and z mm -hmm. uh for jimmy johnny and jackie uh you know i mean uh what do you do 100 percent. and i mean sometimes the tough answer is we, we don't, we don't stretch ourselves and we go a little thin this year. And if we want to do something better next year, start planning now for next year. Start setting aside 10, 20 bucks a week for next year. It adds up quickly. So start planning ahead of time. And it's never too late to start. Too, 100%. Right? People like to st wait for the new year to start planning. Yeah. Start now. Start now. Start in November for the next year. Don't wait until January 1st. Because those principles, if you do save that $10 a week, $20 a week, those principles uh, kind of live with you for the rest of the year, and it's, it does add up. It sets a good habit. And don't yeah. just look at the holiday shopping. Look at the back-to-school shopping. Look at the summer vacation trips. All this mm -hmm. to start have, having either, either separate accounts or separate envelopes, whatever the, the system is, and start saving now, and don't wait until you're already there. You see this you know, when you're focused on retirement, you're dealing with uh, clients who, who are looking at their retirement. How big of a factor is communicating about money? Taking a look in the mirror and saying, this is where I am and this is where I want to be. It's huge. It is so important because when it comes down to it, there is a point in which someone's got to tell themselves or tell their family, look, we just can't swing that this year. If, mm -hmm. if you can't, if you can, fantastic. Go do it and don't feel guilty about it if you plan for it properly. But if you can't do it, don't just say, ah, you know, I really can't afford this. I'll put it on my credit cards and I'll pay it off over time. Maybe you will, but maybe something happens. We were just talking about before, the, before we came on mm -hmm. here, how, you know, uh, taxes come up or, you know, bills come, pop up. You get these nowhere. unexpected uh, bills. Maybe it's a medical bill, a tax exactly. bill, anything, Exactly, the, the vet right? bill, whatever can pop up. And yeah. all of a sudden you had plans to pay off the, the Christmas shopping mm -hmm. by March, but all of a sudden there's a vet bill and a medical bill and something happened at work. And all of a sudden now we're really far behind and it can get scary quickly. Quickly. So sometimes, like you said, looking in the mirror and saying, you know what, we just can't swing that this year. If that's the answer, that's got to be the answer. And it's amazing, too, when you are communicating uh, and being honest about where you are, how that is received so positively on the other end in many 100%, cases. 100%, yeah. because I yeah. mean, whether it's you with yourself, with your family, you're all on the same team. Let's figure out where we're at right now. Let's be realistic and let's, if we want to do more things next year, let's start planning now. That is such great information. Uh, you can find Michael and more uh, great tips, uh, retirementplanningedu.org, retirementplanningedu.org. Thanks so much, Michael, of appreciate course. it, my friend. Very good. Uh, we'll take a break, come right back. More of the nine when we continue.